Adlerian, Wikipedia article audio. Adlerian pertains to the theory and practice of Alfred Adler, whose school of psychotherapy is called individual psychology. Central to the Adlerian approach is to see the personality as a whole and not as the mere net result of component forces. Thus the term individual psychology. Adlerians adopt a radical stance that cuts across the nature-nurture debate by seeing the developing individual at work in creating the personality in response to the demands of nature and nurture but not absolutely determined by them. The self-created personality operates subjectively and idiosyncratically. The individual is endowed with a striving both for self-development and social meaning what Adler himself called the concept of social usefulness and the general well-being of humanity, expressed in a sense of belonging, usefulness, and contribution, and even cosmic consciousness. Holism Compensation Neurosis and other pathological states reveal the safeguarding or defensive stratagems of the individual who believes her or himself to be unequal to the demands of life, in a struggle to compensate for a felt weakness, physical or psychological. In normal development, the child has experienced encouragement and accepts that her or his problems can be overcome in time by an investment of patient persistence and cooperation with others. The normal person feels a full member of life, and has the courage to be imperfect. In less fortunate circumstances, the child, trapped within a sense of inferiority, compensates, or overcompensates, perhaps in grandiose fashion, by striving, consciously and unconsciously, to overcome and solve the problems of life, moving from a felt minus to a felt plus. A high level of compensation produces subsequent psychological difficulties. In cases of discouragement the individual, feeling unable to unfold a real and socially valid development, erects a fantasy of superiority, what Adler termed an attempt at a planned final compensation in a life plan, in some backwater of life, which offers seclusion and shelter from the threat of failure and annihilation of personal prestige. This fictional world, sustained by the need to safeguard an anxious ego, by private logic at variance with reason or common sense, by a schema of apperception which interprets and filters and suppresses the real-world data, is a fragile bubble waiting to be burst by mounting tension within and by assaults from the real world. The will to be or become has been replaced by the will to seem. At the heart of Adlerian psychotherapy is the process of encouragement, grounded in the feeling of universal co-humanity and the belief in the as yet slumbering potential of the patient or client. By making the patient aware of their secret life plan, the therapist is able to offer an alternative outlook better adapted to the wider world of social interests. Withdrawal this process of encouragement also makes the Adlerian approach so valuable to all those professions that concern themselves with the development and education of children, therapeutic education being one of Adler's central concerns. Henri Ellenberger wrote in the 70s of the slow and continuous penetration of Adlerian insights into contemporary psychological thinking. Therapy Adlerians continue to flourish in the 21st century, some employing an eclectic technique integrating elements of other therapies, from the psychodynamic to the cognitive, others focusing on a more classical approach. A. Adler, Individual Psychology, in G. B. Levita's ed., The World of Psychology. Continuing Influence Notable Adlerians <laughs>